Now, in the past hour, the Foreign Secretary has confirmed that Britain did advise the Indian government when it was planning an assault on one of Sikhism's holiest shrines in 1984, leaving hundreds of people dead. Documents published last month suggested an SAS officer had drawn up a plan for an Indian army attack on separatists inside the Golden Temple in Amritsar. In a common statement earlier, William Haig said a review had concluded British advice had limited impact. The Cabinet Secretary's report finds that the nature of the UK's assistance was purely advisory, limited, and provided to the Indian government at an early stage, that it had limited impact on the tragic events that unfolded at the temple three months later, that there was no link between the provision of this advice and defence sales, and that there is no record of the government receiving advance notice of the operation. That's William Hague in the Commons. Let's bring in Jasveer Singh, director of the City Sikhs Network. Thank you for joining us. Um, so William Hague saying it was limited and had limited impact. What, what's your reaction to that? Well, first of all, it's good to see that the results of the inquiry have been published as soon as they have. Uh, it has been something which has impacted upon the British Sikh community massively over the last few weeks. The, the fact that there was even a limited involvement or a limited impact upon the advisory position as it may well have been from uh, an official from the British government still leaves lots of questions unanswered. What were the parameters of that uh, limit of involvement? Uh, how did that manifest itself? Uh, because we're talking about an, a, an attack which took place around the Golden Temple complex, which is, as you've quite rightly said, one of the most important shrines of the Sikh faith. There are lots of questions that British Sikhs, as well as Sikhs around the world, want to have answered. You, you said that this impacted, in the last few weeks, um, greatly on the, 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 the British Sikh community. Tell us a bit more about that. What, what impact has it had? There are a number of Sikhs who are now questioning whether they are able to trust the British state generally and there are differences which are occurring amongst British Sikhs as to some are saying that they feel betrayed, others feel that they feel the, the loyalty that the Sikh community has paid to Britain over the last 160 years or so is now being called into question. So w when there is that depth of feeling, and we hear today from William Hague saying that it, it did have a limited impact, but you're saying there are still further questions, it indicates there's going to be some way to go before that trust can be fixed. I mean, what, what does need to be done for the trust to be fixed? I think there needs to be full transparency. Certainly the publication of the more recent documents, uh, which um, have been done in the past hour, uh, goes some way towards that. But there needs to be uh, a more of a, uh, an equal footing, let's say, between the way that the British government speaks to or discusses this matter with the Sikh community and how open it is as to what happened in 1984 and prior to that. As part of what he said in the Commons today, William Hague spoke about the loss of life, describing it as, a, as a, an utter tragedy, and he said that understandably members of the Sikh community feel the pain and suffering caused by these events. So he is demonstrating that he does have empathy with, with the feelings that you're describing. Indeed. And it's hoped that that empathy will be able to uh, show itself as being much more than just um, the, the statement being or bringing things to an end. I think this will start a, a few conversations within the Sikh community and we will have to wait and see where the developments take us. Jasveer Singh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.